Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on another video. I thought that today I would film a video for you that's a little bit different um, and kind of vulnerable, kind of scary to film, but I also feel in my heart that I really need to share this and that there might be someone out there who needs this. Um, so yeah, please don't be shy. Leave me a comment. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for more videos. I love sharing life with you guys. I wanted to share with you guys about when I failed my exams, which is something that I think I've mentioned briefly on this channel. I've probably mentioned that I struggled with some exams, um, but I never really went into detail on. And whatever reason I didn't go into detail on it is probably a problem with my own pride and um, sense of self-image which I'm working on and God will help me to continue working on. As you know I am 24, I'm a medical doctor, I'm a junior doctor and um, I'm a bit of a nerd to be honest and right now I'd say I'm pretty confident in what I do and in who I am I guess um, but there was a time when I wasn't very confident in that at all and that was at the end of first year when I failed my first year medical school exams. I didn't just fail my exams, I absolutely tanked them. Um, the pass mark for my exams was 50%. I didn't get them. And I didn't just fail one module, I failed five. Now, first year of uni can be pretty scary. I'd say maybe around 10% of first years. I have no idea, actually, I completely just made that up. But people will fail a few exams. Um, but most people will just fail like the one module and reset that. I failed five. I failed the most out of all of my friends. And um, after failing, I went through a really tough time. Like borderline was quite depressed and um, and and really just questioned like my whole image of who I am. I know that sounds pretty pretty um, dramatic, but I'm just telling you how it was. I I I really really despised that summer and from that moment on I believed that I was really stupid because I'd failed these exams because so many of my friends had passed and yet here I was having these resets. I believed that I wasn't good enough to be a doctor. I believed that I was really stupid. I was starting to think medicine wasn't for me and that maybe I should go back and do a different degree. Or maybe I shouldn't do a degree at all. Maybe university was too much for me and I felt so stupid um, and I was really down about it and actually that feeling of stupidity didn't just affect that summer. I would say it followed me up until like fourth year I just always felt stupid I was the dumb one and I lived I perpetuated that throughout the rest even when I reset the exams and I passed them the second time I still had in my head that I was stupid and I've kind of glossed over that a lot because it's taken me like I've gotten past that now I've, I've come to the point where I know who I am again um but I really wanted to share this because I know a lot of you are doing exams right now. Maybe you've just opened your results and you failed your exams and you feel like your world is over. Like, I remember having to call my parents and tell them that I'd failed. I just felt sick. I felt so sick. I remember staying locked up all that summer, revising for my resets and just hating my life so much. Like, I would cry, like, every day and it was the worst thing ever. And I just felt really unvaluable as a person. And so if there are any of you who are scared that you're going to fail or have already failed or are working through exams so much, just in case you're thinking the same way that I was thinking back then, I just want to help you put some things in perspective. And, and the first thing I want you to remember is that your, your exams do not define you. Your, I'm just going to say that again, your exam results do not define you. They don't define anything about you. They really don't. Like, you're this incredible, complex person. You have so many different attributes, and that is one exam of one subject, or maybe however many subjects, but they cannot and will never define you. They cannot even define your intelligence, which sounds crazy because we always think of exams as saying how smart we are, but they do not define your intelligence. I failed my first year exams so badly, but the truth remains, I am intelligent. And that might sound pretty cocky to say, but actually, I allowed those exams to tell me that I wasn't smart, despite the fact that I am smart. And for 
others I think it's even more difficult when you've failed exams your whole life and that's all you've ever heard you can start to believe that you're not smart but let me tell you exams are set up in a certain way and there are certain ways to pass them and if you do those things you will pass them and yes you need a certain level of, of ability and intelligence but actually there are other types of intelligence there's creative intelligence there's emotional intelligence there are so many different levels to you and your mind and an exam an A, B, F, U ABFU, that will never say how smart you are as a person. Please never let your exam results define who you are. They don't define who you are. They don't define your intelligence. Third of all, they do not define your potential. Your exams cannot say anything about your potential, okay? Your potential is not limited to one exam. I'm trying to not go on forever in this video, but I feel like you need to know, or someone watching this needs to know that actually, this is just a tiny little bump in the road. If you failed your exams, you feel like it's the end of the world. It's not, it's so insignificant. It is so incredibly insignificant. Now that I'm a doctor, no one asks me what my first year med school results were. No one asks me that because it's irrelevant. The fact is that I made it in the end, no matter how many times it took me. No one asks me my year nine geography results because it's irrelevant, it's irrelevant. I've made a different path for myself and geography doesn't matter to me because I have Google Maps. Sorry to all you geography fanatics out there. But whatever exam it is right now that you think is your be all and end all, actually one day it will be so irrelevant. And the only relevance will be when you pick up a camera to tell someone else how irrelevant their exam results are at the moment. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to lie or be a hypocrite. Exams are important. You'll see in my other videos where I give you information about how to pass exams and, and how to work to your sorry my camera just died you will see in other videos where i tell you how to pass exams and how to work to your best potential and um i mean that because actually exams in our society the way it works at the moment they're a really straightforward and easy way of opening doors for you you show someone your gcse's you so show someone your a levels and they'll say okay this that and that door are now open to you and um and that just makes it easier but actually those doors those doors that you open by showing someone your a's and b's can be opened other ways as well there are less traveled paths to success just because they are less known but actually all the exams do is open doors for you and you can acquire the knowledge you can acquire more than the knowledge of an a star by your own studying by your own learning the only difference is that if you don't pass that exam you'll have to prove that knowledge to someone some other way so exams are a really good and easy way of getting that door open. Don't forget that there are other ways of getting that same door open. Let me tell you something which was so ridiculous. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've always been an A star student and again I'm just wanna I wanna do this video to help you guys. This is not there's nothing to brag about this. I'm proud of my accomplishments. But actually I'm I'm more proud of myself for passing um for passing my resets in first year than for any other exams in my life because I just know how difficult that was. Like that sucked so bad. I'm getting like emotional thinking of it because it was literally one of the worst times in my life. But this is how crazy it was, okay? I was an A star student my whole life. In GCSEs, I got 10 A stars. I think at A levels I got, oh my gosh, I can't even remember anymore. Two A's and two A stars. Then when I got to university um, and I failed these exams, suddenly, I forgot all about all the exams that I had aced and I can't, I, maybe this is a me problem, but I can't express enough. I let this one set of exams define my intelligence and I was like, I am the dumbest person ever. I was smart in school and now I'm not smart and I literally allowed this one set of exams to do fact to define my intelligence it went against logic it went against all common sense and yet i let this one set of exams make me feel stupid and it held me back for a while because i went through med school being like i'm the dumb medic i'm the non medic -y medic and um i don't want you to do that you're intelligent beyond a piece of paper you are valuable beyond a piece of paper and you have so much more to give to the world whether you pass these exams or not by god's grace you'll pass because i don't want you to go through the stress that i went through when i failed my exams after first year it was horrible i learned a lot from it as my granddad always told my dad and my dad always told me experience is the best teacher but it charges the highest fees and actually the experience of failing taught me so much. It taught me to be resilient beyond beyond what I knew. It, it taught me eventually to define my own intelligence outside of a piece of paper, but it charged some pretty freaking high threes and I was very upset. I was very depressed. I was very stressed at doing the resets and, and it's not something I'd recommend. Um, so, you know, preferably don't fail, but if you do, 
please know that it's not the end of the world it is not the end of the world and never ever do yourself never do yourself the injustice of lowering your value to what it says on a piece of paper please do not do that I felt like I needed to do this video as a reminder to you it's not that deep it's not that deep don't do anything crazy don't do anything silly sit down and write a list of all the other things about you that are good and great that have nothing to do with your exams I don't even know I'm trying to like say all these things in this video but I hope that I hope that this has helped you somehow and I know that maybe sometimes I can give the impression that I've got my whole life together on this channel I'm like yeah look at me I'm a little doctor I work out in the mornings like a meal prep like yeah everybody follow me um, but actually <laughs> I'm I'm far from far far from perfect and I've been through more than you know more difficult times than I would have preferred um but it doesn't end you and it doesn't define you and I failed exams and now I'm a doctor I'd like to think I'm all right at it and I also just want to remind you that it happens to the best of us. I have a senior who's an incredible surgeon. Um, in medicine, you're constantly sitting exams to progress to the next level. So this guy is an incredible surgeon. He had some exams that he needs to pass. Sat one of them, passed them, and I was like, yes, well done. He sat the next one and failed it. And he was gutted as well, because these exams are freaking expensive. But you know what? That guy still literally saves people's lives overnight. He will remove someone's burst appendix overnight. He is still an incredible surgeon and he's not the only one out there there are so many people out there loads of like medics all over the world who are failing exams who have failed exams they'll brush themselves back up they'll get up again and they will go at it the next time stronger and better and with more knowledge we need to remove that pedestal that we put ourselves on and we need to be real about what exams really are um, and what they mean and be real about who we are and our potential and never let it be limited by a pass or fail um, so yeah, people fail sometimes. I am one of those people who has also failed and I didn't handle it well because I, I don't know, I think I'd allowed a lot of my identity of who I am to be summed up in that I'm smart. And do you know what's funny? I would never have said that before I failed. I'd have been like, no, no, I'm not, I don't need to be smart. I just... I just do well in my exams, that's just what I do. Um, so I didn't realise how much of my, um, not even respect for myself, but how much of, of who I thought I was was laid up in my exam results, in something that's so almost artificial. Um, and so actually that reality check that those that failing gave me was, was, I think, a blessing in disguise. I say a blessing in disguise, I didn't fail because God wanted me to fail, I failed because I didn't revise enough. <laughs> Don't be like me in first year and see things stupidly. In the same way that me failing my exams did not define who I was, did not define my intelligence, could not limit any single part of the purpose and destiny that God has put on my life, you and your exams, if you were to fail your exams, that cannot limit any single part. It cannot hold back, it cannot stop, it cannot take away from the destiny and the purpose that God has put on your life and all that he has called you to be and all that he has put inside of you. Have a beautiful day, I love you very much and I will see you in my next video. Oh and don't forget to like thumbs up and subscribe and send this video to a friend. If you have nothing to do with exams right now and you're watching this like mm, nice but not relevant to me, then send this to a friend because maybe they're the one who needs to hear this right now. Send this to someone who's doing exams or maybe it's just failed because maybe they need to hear this right now and I don't know I just feel like God's put it on my heart so yeah have a wonderful day join me on Instagram and Facebook I love you guys very much and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>